Welcome back everyone. Today we are with Chris and we're gonna be going over a couple different things. Um, pretty much what is an appraisal and are they required before we buy? Now we're gonna try to keep this as short and sweet as possible, but we've had a lot of things to go over today. So um, let's hop right into it. Yeah. Let's tell people what, what is an appraisal throughout the home buying process. Well, the definition it? is an opinion of value. So right there we're talking about a little subjectivity, but yep. basically the most important thing to understand about an appraisal is it's really a snapshot in time. Uh, what we do uh, is a, a lot of times people think uh, it has to do with the house and it does have to do with the house, but it really has to do with the market. Mm. So we take the asset, which is the house, and look at the market around it and figure out what the worth of it is based on that. Um, so, so whereas tomorrow that might change, yep. you know, as it's changed over the last six months or so, uh, ebbs and flows in the market create different values in houses even though you don't do anything you know, at all. You think about the house you're in right now. And you know, 10 years ago, is it worth more or less than it is right now? You know, hopefully it's more, but why? Yeah, it, it's the market. The you know, market fluctuates. Market goes up. Market goes down. So, in, in a nutshell, an appraisal is an evaluation of your house based on market conditions. Okay, now I know there's some people listening right now, and yeah. they're like, "But Zillow already tells me what my house is worth." <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So, how does how does that kind of relate? Yeah, first first thing you have to understand about like those type websites is like. The, you know, th everyone says Zillow is, you know, the valuation site. Mm -hmm. Andre, it's a marketing site. It they is. use <laughs> the value the value of your house to market to people so they can sell leads, so they can sell ads, just like everyone else on the internet. So you have to take it with a grain of salt. And they just use an algorithm to spit a number out. Like, you know, uh, they, they don't, there's no boots on the ground. You know, they didn't go mm -hmm. inside. They didn't see the floor plan. They didn't see the mm -hmm. updates. You know, so it's a good basis to start maybe. But when you're talking about real estate, I mean, there's a lot of things that could change that number, good or bad. So you re do you want a ballpark or do you want somebody to figure it out that knows what they're doing? So I'm not going to talk bad about Zillow, but yeah, you know, yeah, absolutely. if you got a headache, you want to go to WebMD? Yeah. Or you yeah. want to go to a doctor? You know, if you, <laughs> yeah. That's kind of how it is. Yeah, you know? you'll end up saying, thinking you have cancer yeah, you or got having a stroke right now. Right, exactly. So, you, um, you, got a, you got sinuses. Absolutely. Allergies. So it's a resource depending on how you want to use it at the end of the day. It is a resource. Um, and there's a lot of different ones out there now that kind of try to do the same thing. But just keep in mind, they're marketing their platform to absolutely. make money through advertising. And they are getting people clicking on it to do just that. So, and honestly, if the segment is somewhat homogenized you got a bunch of houses that were built in the last 10 years and they're about the same size it's probably okay okay um but if you you know the more weird you get uh, you know especially in the greenville market the more eclectic the more you know changes there's been lately it's not so good <laughs> okay yeah, no, yeah. I don't, the greenville market's a little different right now it's um yeah. it's still pretty hot yeah. people people it's still it's still kind of booming right now so as far as um i kind of want to touch on that i know you mentioned it's a um you know, kind of market value of the home. Now, let's say you have someone who's willing to pay over market price. Does that make that technically market price of the home since they're willing to pay for that? Well, yeah, you, you use two terms that are different. Okay. Okay. So, talk to the, me about you, market, see, y'all see, I'm, I'm, I'm out here learning. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, talk to me. That's right. So, you got market value of the house, which Absolutely. is what I do, and then you have the price. Mm. You know, so price is different. Just because okay. one person thinks they should pay more for something or doesn't care about what the market value is, they overpay. Uh, that that's different than what the value. What I do is the most probable price the house would sell for, Absolutely. not what the most price. And that's mm. the difference between what realtors do and what I do is you're trying to get the most, you know, for for that particular house. Absolutely. You're trying to you know, get to the top end of it. And my job is not to do that at all. So there's two separate things. You, you remember what a Furby is? You might be too young. Uh, uh, the, the little doll? Yeah, the little yeah, doll. Yeah, you yeah, remember, remember, remember that yeah. little doll? So, yeah, yeah, so yeah. whatever year it was, 1980, whatever, they had these little Furbies and they were 25 bucks, right? Yeah. And then October, they were 25 bucks. And then November, they were 25 bucks. In December, they were 75 bucks. And December 24th, they were $200. Well, that's still the same market value. The Furby is 25 bucks, mm -hmm. right? It but is. demand, Little Susie wanted one and it was Christmas time. Yeah. So what are we doing? We're yeah. paying more for it than it's really worth. But then January come and guess what happened? It's back down to back 25, down to 25 20, bucks. Cause that's what the market value of a Furby was, but yeah. they were overpaid okay. you know, and overpaying. And that you saw a little of that happen, you know, you know, in the six months ago and stuff, yeah. people were coming, COVID was yeah. created some issues Absolutely. and people were moving that didn't have to work in an office in Detroit or New York or California. So. They came here with a bunch of money from their house and they don't have to go into office anymore. Yep. And they really didn't care if they paid $50,000 more for their house because it didn't matter to them. They're going to be there in the next 20 years. Literally. Yeah. So they're just like, I'm good. I'm good paying. What happens though is if you get a lot of those, mm -hmm. that creates a new market. Mm -hmm. That's how prices go up. 
So mm. one one house doesn't make a market, but twenty of them probably does. Mm. So that, that makes sense. sense. That makes a lot. Yeah. That makes a lot more sense. And I'm yeah. glad you cleared that up too. So um, I know that's a big kind of debate dispute with, between realtors, and that's why that's why I appreciate you coming on. I Absolutely. love chatting with you all the time because. Um, I think at the end of the day, I'm a, I'm a data man. Like yeah. I, I'm did computer science and it is, and it kind of is what it is at the end yeah. of the day. So, um, last kind of thing we're going to touch on when it comes to the appraisal, are they required? Um, they're, they're not, okay, I mean, un, un, unless you borrow somebody's money. Exactly. So, <laughs> so that's where I come in. So yeah. if you, if you, you love a house and you're willing to pay a million dollars for it, yeah. that's great. But if you don't have a million dollars in your back pocket and you need somebody else to do that, like a mortgage on a house or something. Then they, then that person, the bank or the lender, wants to make sure that you know their um, their loan is going to be backed by something, and they want to make sure that their if default happens, they won't have to recoup over a certain amount of money. So Absolutely. you know that's when I come into it. So you know, and, and that's one facet of really what I do is bank work, you know, lending work. But there's a lot of different ways, a lot of different problems you might have that need an appraisal. So for lending purposes, if you're buying a house. You know, you can you, you do need one if yeah. you're borrowing money, mm -hmm. and, and sometimes the bank will say there's appraisal waivers. Well, they'll say, you know, this guy's got really good credit and he's putting forty percent down. I, he, I don't. The bank says I don't care if he has an appraisal, and then if you don't care as a buyer, then you don't need one either. Mm. Now, if if it's important to you to know you're not paying more for the house than it's worth, you don't want to be in a Furby situation. Right. Then then I would say get one. It's not you know it's it's up to you during the you know due diligence if you want to find that out. Absolutely. Um, that, but you know, let's say you have a, a, a situation where you're getting clients that divorced. Mm -hmm. They need to know what the price, the value of their house is upon a divorce or a probate. You, know, you have some people um, that ha they passed away and now they inherited this house. They don't know what it's worth, mm -hmm. and then court needs to know how. It, so there's a lot of different ways you might need an appraisal or, or, or even a valuation that's not a full appraisal. But uh, for bank purposes, if you're borrowing money. You're gonna get probably one. new one. Yeah, yeah. You, you know, you, it's yeah, not up you to you. <laughs> not up to you. Yeah. <laughs> Which, um, in the grand scheme of things, it's relatively low cost for um, such a big asset of you purchasing. Yeah, so I mean, most residential houses are five hundred bucks, you know, mm -hmm. or thereabouts. So if you're talking about, you know, in Greenville, like three to five hundred thousand dollars is kind of a normal, you know, house. I mean, that's a fraction yeah, of the cost. Absolutely. Of, it's like a home inspection. Do you need one? No, but yeah. I would get Can one. Can save you? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, so. you're talking about a huge investment, and you mm -hmm. don't want you don't want nobody wants to overpay. Yeah. Most people don't want to overpay. You absolutely. Know? Yeah. Well, we appreciate your time today, man. I appreciate you stopping by. Um, for all you guys who are watching still, we appreciate you guys. Like, subscribe to this, guys. Send this to someone who you know who may be a first-time home buyer who doesn't know about the appraisal process. Um, but for now. Um, I'm going to have you back on here soon, and we will see you guys later. Peace. Thank you.